He gonna have to deal with all of us then, baby. He gonna have to deal with all of us. Yeah, absolutely. Hello, songwriters. It's me again, bringing you another uh, review analysis of what's going on with the girls of Chasing Destiny. Now, they have released a brand new song through the finale of the series. Well, the finale of the season of the series, at least, um, called All of Us. And I am personally in love with what's going on with these girls right now. I'm really excited for the song and I'm really excited for the girls. And so I want to give you guys five points of reference for my analysis of what's going on with the girls right now. Now, All of Us as a whole, is just a very well-rounded song and it brings exactly what the girls need for their brand and that's actually gonna be my first point I feel like the camaraderie that Kelly Rowland was really going for with this group is really reflected in this song it's not even just about you know uh, women empowerment in the fact that you know women are great and group women are awesome which they are but I feel like the aspect of friendship and just uh, building up a, a person or a sister in this case um, and just supporting them in a new relationship. I really feel like I haven't heard a lot of that on the radio and I feel like that's a great thing that's being pushed in the song. And my second point is on the point of chemistry and it's not just with the five girls in and of themselves but between Crystal and Ashley I feel like there is this tag team between them. Like when Crystal comes in with that rockin' first verse and then Ashley comes in with her ad-libs and just uh it, I guess with their vocal tones like C Crystal is a lot lighter than uh, Ashley's approach to singing and just the two of them put together at least in this song from the first and the second verse like um and even in their ad-libs there has just been a whole bunch of contrast and I really like it. My third point has to do with the fact that Gabby is such a secret weapon and I think the only ones that really see it right now are Kelly and Frank. I don't even think that Gabby and or the other girls or the producers really know what Gabby has in terms of potential. When I initially heard Gabby sing the first part of the second verse of All of Us, I kind of felt like it wasn't enough. I felt like there was more that could be discovered when it comes to her. I feel like Gabby is the seed that just has so much potential waiting on the inside of her and once she discovers exactly what's inside of her I really feel like we're gonna see a total different dynamic when it comes to when she's singing on stage when she's singing in the studio the lines that we hear her singing melodically and the reason I'm staying on Gabby for a little bit longer is because I feel like we have similar personalities I look at her and I see her I see like this weirdo and I'm a weirdo and I, I kind of like it and I really feel like um, when it comes to pop music that the weirdo in the bunch is never really catered to or their voice isn't really heard and I really feel like Gabby is going to be the one that really starts to allow that face to be shown in pop music. Hey you, you're a weirdo. I know, isn't it great? The fourth thing that I want to address is that I love that I hear such a difference between the studio recording and the live recording. Usually this is a bad thing, but the studio recording, like it doesn't compare to what these girls can do live. When I was hearing them sing um, on the, uh, the finale and just their voices, the blend of their voices, like, and now they have their inner monitors, they could hear everything, like, oh my God. Gosh, I just love their live dynamic and I love that the studio kind of hides a little bit of that because it's gonna make them uh, I guess that much more desirable to see live and this is my fifth point and I really want to make it clear to anyone who is comparing these girls to other girl groups that have been in the past please don't these girls are not Destiny's Child, they're not on Vogue, they're not SWV, they are not Danny D. Kane, they are not Fifth Harmony, they are not Little Mix. They are who they are and what they bring is completely and utterly unique. And I don't think that when we compare them to other girl groups that we're doing them any of us, like we're not doing them a service. From Brianna's stage presence to Cheyenne's youthfulness to Gabby's low tones to Crystal's southern twang and Ashley's runs, like we have something that's very unique. And I don't think that we're like just don't spoil it by comparing them to everybody else Just have fun and just enjoy them as a group and the best way for you to enjoy it is to buy all of us on iTunes Really go and support these girls. I really like what they're doing It's actually under chasing destiny the artist's name and don't forget to subscribe to this page because we are thinking deeply So that we create our own art that changes the world. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye everyone